All right, so last week I did talk very briefly about the UFC Fight Night event, Leon Edwards versus Bilal Muhammad, but I didn't talk about it for very long, and in hindsight, it turns out that, uh, well, unfortunately, maybe that was for the best. For anybody who actually saw that fight, they saw the way that it ended. Uh, very suddenly, via a uh, accidental eye poke, um, a very painful-looking one. I mean, if you saw that fight, you know that uh, Blal Muhammad, he was he was actually crying because it was so painful. Uh, I know that a lot of people don't think that looks very good on a fighter to be, uh, you know, to be crying after a fight. It does happen from time to time. Sometimes it's a little bit more, you know, sympathetic than other times, and this is definitely one of them. Uh, Blal Muhammad, he had worked for a very long time to get that opportunity. It finally presented himself. And even though he was at that particular point, you know, he was not winning that fight. You know, he had been doing very well for himself in that fight. He represented himself very well. You know, and so uh, that's the way that turned out. You hate to see it. Uh, but it is what it is. I mean, I imagine that one way or another the UFC will resolve the situation. I think that they should rebook the fight. I think that they should rebook it soon. And even though it wouldn't be a five-round fight at this point, I actually think that they ought to make it on pay-per-view. You know, give Bilal Muhammad a little bit of, uh, of consolation, you know, for that, for that particular experience. Uh, there's a lot of things to talk about in that fight. A lot of people talk about the, uh, you know, the UFC gloves. The best way to describe it is that people say that they're stiff. And so they're stiff gloves. They force people's fingers out rather than kind of clenching them in and so there are a lot of accidental eye pokes you know compared to other you know compared to other promotions I mean in particular Bellator as I've come to understand it the Bellator gloves are designed in such a way that they close the hands rather than open them and so that doesn't that that cuts down on some of these accidental eye pokes it does it open up some other you know some other aspects of the sport I think it's a little bit questionable I mean, if you're kind of forcing fighters to close their hands, you're ma forcing them to make fists. And I think that that does benefit strikers over wrestlers. So I don't think that's a perfect solution. But a lot of people do think that there is a problem there that needs to be solved. And I think this last fight, I think it shows us this. And really, if all the UFC has to worry about coming out of this is having to rebook that fight, well, then they've, they've gotten off pretty, pretty lucky. You know, they're pretty fortunate. This could have been a much uglier situation. Bilal Muhammad, he could have lost an eye. You know, he could have lost or <laughs> significantly injured an eye. And it wouldn't even be the first time that something like that has happened. 